Welcome to the review of ISDT CP16027 power supply. ISDT has been expanding their product range since the introduction of their first smart charger last year. I have been using two of their products for the last few months and have been rather happy with the performance and quality. It seems like ISDT wants to position themselves as a manufacturer of high quality, originally designed and unique products. They definitely managed to achieve that with their line of smart chargers and a parallel adapter. So without further ado, let's have a look and see if the same can be said about their new power supply. Inside the box we find XT60 cable, power lead and the charger itself. Oddly enough, the power lead is the um, American version, but luckily Banggood supplied the adapter as well. Provided XT60 cable is about 30 centimeters or 12 inches long. The power lead is about 120 centimeters, which is about 47 inches long. And the dimensions of the power supply are as follows. It's 122 by 56 by 38 millimeters. Before continuing, let's have a quick look at the specification. The input voltage is anything between 80 and 264 volts. The output is 27 volts rated at 7.4 amps, which gives us 160 watts. Looks like ISDT focused on the um, safety of this product quite a lot. It offers overcurrent protection, over voltage protection, low voltage protection, short current, overload, over temperature, surge and inrush circuit protection. That was quite a lot of protection and a lot of words that probably don't mean much to an average user. What that really means that this power supply should be rather safe to use and we don't have to worry about things like feeding the wrong voltage, drawing too much current, overheating or shorting the circuit. Now let's have a look at the adapter itself. It's made of plastic around here and the top and the bottom plates are made of aluminium which should help in heat dissipation. As with other ISDT products I find the air quality to be top-notch. So on this side here we have mains input, on the other side we have XT60 output which connects to a charger and on top plate there is also power LED. In terms of using the product there is not much to talk about here. It's just a question of hooking up to a charger, plugging into the mains and it's ready to go. So the main purpose of this review is to see if the power supply can deliver what's promised on the box, which is delivering 160 watts. Additionally, I will be checking what happens when it gets overloaded, meaning I will be drawing more than 160 watts. And also I will be checking if there are any abnormalities when using the product, like overheating, etc. This is a fanless design with passive cooling, so this power supply should remain completely silent even under load. Now, let's move on and do some testing. To test the performance of the power supply, I will be using my ISDT smart charger, which has a very nice feature that allows me to monitor the input and output voltage and current. Ok, so everything's hooked up, let's just take it for a spin.
Charging is finishing now and as you could see we managed to draw over 240 watts from this power supply which is quite impressive. It got quite warm during the process but it wasn't very hot and it was still comfortable to hold in my hand. Now let's just try to push it a little bit further and see when overcurrent protection kicks in. As you can see 250 watts seems to be the limit here. Ok, let's try one more time. Obviously it's not recommended to overload this power supply by this much in everyday use. But this is just to show how much headroom we have here and how far we can push it. Even though there's not much to see inside the power supply, simply because everything is very packed. Before concluding the review, let's just have a quick look. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show and test in this review. I think it should give a rather good idea what to expect from this AC adapter. So, let's have a quick look at pros and cons. The good things, first of all, is the performance. It's top-notch and the power supply delivers more than its rated power output. It cuts off at 250 watts and I managed to finish charging a pack at up to 245 watts. That's rather impressive performance. I obviously don't recommend pushing the adapter this far on a regular basis. But it has a lot of headroom and in my opinion it should be safe to use it up to around 200 watts. It offers good temperature control. The power supply gets warm under load but I haven't experienced it getting extremely hot or shutting down due to overheating. My room temperature during testing was about 21 degrees Celsius. As expected the PSU is completely silent and the components inside don't make any noises. Built-in protection circuit should make the power supply very safe to use. Last but not least, as with other ISDT products, the build quality is excellent. So what are the negative things about this power supply? One of the things I am missing a little bit on this product is a power switch. I know that this is nothing unusual, but it would be nice to see it on the $60 power supply. Which brings me to pretty much the only negative point about this AC adapter, and this is its price. I do understand that the quality doesn't come cheap, but also know that for many potential customers, this will be enough to put them off getting this product. After all, a laptop PSU rated around 150 watts can be purchased for around $20, and the 500 watt server PSU can be snatched for similar money on eBay. Even though they require a little bit of tinkering, they can offer significant savings. On the other hand though, this product can easily provide more than 150 watts. An advantage over a server PSU is that this one is completely silent, comes with warranty and requires no tinkering. So to conclude the review, if we put money aside, I can definitely recommend this product as it offers excellent performance in the nice package. It makes a perfect companion for the smallest 150 watts ISDT charger. Personally, I will be using this with the bigger 500 watt brother to charge my smaller packs. It would be nice to see ISDT or Banggood offering some kind of package deal if buying a charger and the power supply together. And that's it. If you have any questions, Please leave the comment below or join the discussion at RC Group's forums. Thank you for watching.